growing all across the country when it comes to cars collecting your data. So this is an issue that can soon play out in the courts right here in Georgia. Here's 11 Alive's Liza Lucas spotlighting the issue, the push for transparency, and what you can do to protect your family's personal information. Modern cars have the ability to capture all types of data. Our dad, he likes to track us. He's like wanting us to be safe in the city and stuff like that. The trackers, cameras and sensor technology can add to drivers comfort, convenience and safety. But let's take a closer look. A 2023 report from the Mozilla Foundation researched 25 car brands noting cars can collect medical info, genetic info, how fast you drive, where you're going, even the songs you play. The growing question, do you know know where all your data is going. It tells where you go, it tells how fast you go, it tells when you break and when you don't. And that information can be and increasingly is being sold to insurance companies and data brokers. Justin Brookman is director of technology policy at Consumer Reports, part of the effort examining how driver data is being used. The 25 brands Mozilla Foundation researched all earned the nonprofit's privacy not included warning label. Also finding that 19 of those car brands say they can sell your data. Cars are just big computers on wheels. And like desktop computers or mobile phones, they collect a ton of information about us and they can also share a ton of information about us. And a lot of times we don't even know what's happening. To be honest, it's not something that I've really thought about. However, now that we are having the conversation, I do kind of feel like it's a little bit of an invasion of privacy. Right now, there are no federal comprehensive privacy laws, but there is action in the courts. In June, several class action lawsuits were consolidated in Georgia, accusing GM of collecting driver data without consent and sharing it or selling it to third parties. Once you've got these this type of litigation going on. Jessica Sino is a partner with Krevelin and Horst. She specializes in cybersecurity and is not affiliated with the lawsuit, but anticipates it could lead to a settlement influencing future standards. And then what does that settlement produce? It produces more upfront information, more informed consents, opt in to these types of data collection and data sharing types of services. In the meantime, experts say be careful what you agree to when purchasing a new vehicle. Visit the settings in your car to see if data sharing settings can be turned off and be careful with apps on your phone because they might be sharing information about what sort of driving you do as well. In Atlanta, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. So we did reach out to GM. The company said that it cannot comment on pending litigation. However, this concern is not isolated to any one particular brand. In May, the Federal Trade Commission released a statement saying in part, car manufacturers and all businesses should take note that the FTC will take action to protect consumers against the illegal collection, use, and disclosure of their personal data. You